I have a new friend. His name is John Vier, and his wife's name is Josefina. Their kids are Eric and Moisey and Sentia. They're from the Congo, where they lived in a refugee camp for over 10 years, fleeing from the violence and the wars that were going on in that, in that country. Um, they, they, uh, they show me pictures of their house in the refugee camp, like cardboard boxes, and they raised, they had and raised three children. Both their parents are dead from the wars. And they have come to the United States of America to seek a new life. When they got here, they were dropped off in their apartment, given about two months of support by the local agency that brought them here, and then told them to say, hey, make your way in the world. Great, have a great time. Well, how would, how would that go for you or me? You know, we're just getting dropped in the middle of Africa where they speak Swahili and being told, hey, good luck. Hope it goes well for you. Find a job, find your way, get your way around. These people have no car, very little money. They're being asked to pay, repay loans for their plane tickets. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And I was thinking the other day as John Vier was at my house telling me about his boss who told me he wouldn't be working for the next three days, which for him aren't vacation days that are paid. They're just kind of days he doesn't get paid. And he was telling me about his link card that only has 19 cents left on it to get food. And I was thinking, man, I need to do something for this guy. I need to help him. It's my responsibility as a follower of Jesus. And, I, and I really, even forget that. What would, you want, what would I want someone to do for me and my family if I was in their country as a refugee? How would I want them to treat me? Would I want them to help me figure out my way? Yeah. So I've been taking John Vere to drive, and I've been taking John Vere around and trying to show him the ropes and trying to help him acclimate him and his family to this life in America. Can you imagine being dumped in a place that's not even your own country with no friends and no support? and just having to make it? What would you want someone to do for you if you were in that situation?